What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the second January build of 2020 of this Evolution X ROM on the Redmi K20 Pro. So let's begin. Now one bug that I have encountered here is that whenever like I'm going to settings and it just like keeps stopping as you can see, again it's for stopping. And talking about flashing this Evolution X ROM, well all you need to do is just go to wipe, Dalvi cache, system and data, you select those and swipe to wipe. Then once that's done, make sure you're on the latest MIUI 11 firmware, otherwise you may face some problems. So just make sure you are on the latest MIUI 11 Android Q firmware, maybe it's the 11.0.1 or 11.0.3. So once you did that and like go to your like folder, the download folder, this is the ROM file itself. Select that and like add to Q, select the fcrypt disabler. And if you wanna go with the encrypted way, then do not flash this fcrypt disabler. But if you are already decrypted, I'll definitely recommend you guys to like flash this fcrypt disabler. Otherwise it will be a problem. The decrypted system will get encrypted and stuff. So just make sure to flash this fcrypt disabler every time. And you can just swipe like to install. I'm not gonna do that because I have already installed it. I'm gonna wipe the Dalvik and cache just because the settings panel is not simply opening right now. I'm just gonna wipe the Dalvik and cache. By the way, with this, like just by wiping Dalvik and cache, you can flash any like new update whenever there is update. You can just select the uh, like ROM file and the FQ disabler again and reboot. And as this ROM like includes the G apps in it, you don't need to flash it again. So let me just reboot to system. Let's unlock the device as we have the always unlock with the fingerprint scanner option enabled. Let's go to the settings. I hope it doesn't force stop. So it didn't. Let's go to the about section and let me just disable the dark theme from here. And I can like control the brightness just from the status bar just because I have that feature enabled from the like settings. So I'll show those to you like later. But here is the Evolution X version I'm running. This is the 2020 version 3.69 Raphael and like the 2nd January 2020 build for this Evolution X ROM and the Android version is 10 of course as you can see but the security patch is still of December 5th so that's a bummer that the security patch is of last year's but it's like one month old so we cannot complain and the stock kernel here is the immensity kernel and here is the build number. Now let me quickly go back from here and in the like system panel and stuff you will find the gestures normally and as you can see all these features are there you can use the two button or three button navigation if you want to now let me go back and we have a system updated here but if you're decrypted this is like not usable so i will definitely recommend you to like flash the rom file and the fcrypt disabler whenever a new update comes manually with the recovery now let me show you the front camera effects of course we have still this kind of miui sounds and it does every time like whenever you open your front camera like this it makes the sound and by the way talking about the stock camera we have this MIUI camera interface and this is I think not the ANX camera but this is actual MIUI camera and it works flawlessly even the slow motion 960 fps and stuff is there it works fine even the video mode as you can see we have the 4k 30 60 every option is available for you so this is a great feature I would say that we get the MIUI camera by default and you can also install the Google camera. Let me show you I have installed this like new Google camera and I have taken some pictures here are some examples of those pictures and the Google camera I would say is working flawlessly right now and definitely download with like the video linked in the card right here. Download from there and like your Google camera will be fine and just like follow the settings which I have shown you in that video. And here we have the display settings and stuff. And here is the like dark theme and stuff of course. Nightlight feature is there, it works fine, makes the display yellowish. Live display is there, we have the RGB control of the screen and then the hue saturation intensity as usual. And then we have the colors and stuff. So double tap to wake and stuff is there again. And accent colors, we have the like one plus accent colors and stuff. Then like you can see these kind of accent colors are present. I don't know, what do you need more? We have Xiaomi, Inferno Red and stuff. I have been using this OnePlus kind of accent color. And whenever you are using the dark theme, it makes the red really pop up from the screen. Looks great. And anti-flicker mode is there if you need that. Here are the fonts. So a lot of body fonts you get over here. As you can see, we have the LG, then OnePlus and stuff. So a lot of fonts are there. 
and we also have the icon shapes. In the battery settings, we have the smart charging option. It shows the temperature and stuff here and the battery icon looks kind of tall as you can see. And the battery life, I do not have any complaints. I can definitely get about seven to eight hours of screen on time with this like ROM. And in the sound settings, let me show you, we have the Mi Audio Dirac and I did test it. Yes, it works flawlessly. And you can see there are a lot of presets for the sounds as you can see. Whichever Mi headphone you have, you can select it from here and it should sound great. I have been using it with the Youth Edition and the sound output via the headphone jack and Bluetooth as well is pretty great. We also have a Hi-Fi Dirac like kind of thing. And then we have the charging vibration and stuff disabling option. And this is the audio panel settings. Like this is how the audio panel appears. But if you want to enable more things, as you can see, we can get like just by tapping once, you can get everything over here. You don't even need to expand it. So this is great feature, I would say. And then you can set the SIM 1 and SIM 2 ringtone separately. So that feature is there. Vibrate on calls is there. But let me tell you, the stock dialer does not have a call recorder option, but Volti and stuff is working flawlessly here. That's not a problem. Now, let me demonstrate the fingerprint scanner speed here. Unlocked. Unlocked again. And by the way, I'm doing it from the always on display. If you cannot see it for some reason, like for the brightness and stuff of the always on display, I'm doing it from the always on display and it's working fine. As you can see, works every time. But let me show you if it dies. So as you can see, it did not die on the like always on display. So that's great. Even if you miss sometimes, as you can see, again, you can try like later and it works. And if you talk customizations, of course, the Evolution X is one of a kind. And here we have the status bar options and rounded corners and stuff is there. Then clock options are there and you can change almost everything like from the clock font size and stuff, you get everything and status bar options are there so that you can enable the headset Bluetooth etc icons. And let me show you the status bar logo is there and 4G icon and Volti icon is there, but this Volti icon is still a kind of weird. Let me show you. You have to like enable your mobile data, then turn off the Volti icon like once and re-enable it again. So that is how it appears. As you can see right now, the Volti icon is there. It shows VO. You can choose it from Volti OS or like Oxygen OS kind of, or even the Asus kind of icon. As you can see, there are a lot of options for this Volti icon. And right now you can re-enable the Wi-Fi, and it should be there. And in the network traffic indicator, we have the option to enable it, of course, but I have been using this network traffic indicator kind of app, which I always use. In the battery settings, we have the battery style as dotted circle, filled circle, text, and hidden. Then the battery percentage option is there. I chose it to be next to the icon. And battery percentage when charging is there. And by the way, the 18 watt fast charging over here works flawlessly, no issues with that. In the notifications, we have the heads up disabling option, edge lighting option. This notification edge lighting looks really cool. And the ambient display brightness, you can set it like however you want. I have set it to 1-1 because at night it becomes really bright. Otherwise, here is a blink flashlight on call like MIUI and vibrate on connect like in-call vibration stuff is there. Let me go back. In the quick settings panel, we have the vibrate on toggle touch. Then brightness slider, all right, bro. Go away. And then we have the brightness slider, brightness slider on the bottom and column and row number customizations and the quick setting opacity control, quick setting footer text and the edit icon and stuff. You can disable it if you want to. Then in the power menu, we have the advanced reboot, of course, the lock screen advanced reboot is there too. So this advanced reboot, I would say is really helpful feature. As you can see, you can directly reboot to recovery and the like gestures and stuff is there. The swipe to the screenshot is working fine. The brightness control, which I already showed you works fine. Also, the screen of power and torch from the lock screen itself works really great. As you can see, right now it is turned on. So yeah, this feature works great. And by the way, I have increased the clock font size for the lock screen and stuff. <laughs> it looks really great, I would say. You can see it from really far. So I like the big fonts here. Let me unlock and the status bar and lock screen as well. Double tap to sleep is there. So not a problem with that. And in the lock screen, you get the fingerprint authentication. And the most interesting feature, which I like, is the always unlock with the fingerprint scanner. This is a really helpful feature, I would say. And then there is the like clock font size and stuff. So I increased all of them and charging info shows fine. It's not a problem. Charging animation is there, but I don't know what kind of animation it does. Media artwork and stuff is there. 
let me go back to the hardware buttons we have the invert layout and stuff if you're using the two or three button navigations and in the animation we have the screen of animation like crd and scale like this animation it does like a tv it works fine with that crd animation i really like it and we have the quick setting animation style and stuff then we have full ui animation no compromises in the misc settings we have the gaming mode enabler and there is the wake up on charge disabling option and the usb configuration i like to set it to file transfer so that whenever i connect it to my pc it opens the file explorer and here we have the duo settings and stuff not really helpful for me that is all about the customizations present in this rom and by the way i would say this rom is kind of unique because it gets a lot of updates but i don't know the like update right now let me show you here is that like 2nd january 2019 build so yeah this is the latest build as of right now so i would say today is like 6th january i have been using it for quite a while now what do i think about this rom i would say the rom feels really smooth not a problem here with the fluidity or something but that settings panel problem is kind of a weird thing which i am no noticing from like one or two days now it didn't happen earlier the stock launcher here is the pixel launcher to the left we have the google now cards you can swipe up for the app drawer and you can swipe down for the notification panel and stuff and the widgets and stuff on the home screen are working great you get google pay working by default you don't need to do anything like flashing magic and stuff no need to do those things works like flawlessly and the like whole UI is pretty smooth let me open some of the apps and show you guys the app open up speeds and the RAM management here let's open Twitter Play Store YouTube Instagram now let's open all the apps from memory again and as you can see the app open ups are like really fluid no issues whatsoever that I could find and like you can switch between apps just like this and everything feels really smooth over here no issues whatsoever with the ram management or something as you can see it opens everything really fast and fluidly so here is the android score of this rom and the drm info shows as level one here so you can like play netflix or amazon prime videos if you have an account on 1080p so that's not an issue talking about the gameplay let me show you pubg works with like full screen here as you can see in the graphic settings we can see it is like pretty extreme because hdr and extreme settings are present like the highest settings possible playing in this game let me start a match the blue team has scored for the first time that's how you play like a pro Okay. So everyone is camping. Let's go. 
So as you can see the gaming performance is great here. Not a problem playing PUBG in this ROM. Do we have this? Oh alright. So after playing all those games and stuff, as you can see I still have the Play Store in memory, Twitter is in memory, alright so Play Store was in, Facebook is in still memory it looks like, Chrome, yeah Chrome is still in memory, Instagram, yup Instagram is still in memory. So this is a 6GB RAM variant again but the memory management here is just legit. So I can definitely recommend you guys flashing this ROM on your Redmi K20 Pro. Let me know in the comments what do you guys think about this ROM on this Redmi K20 Pro. I think the Evolution X is at a point like where the experience is pretty stable. You get like bunch of live wallpapers and stuff if you need those. Like as you can see in the come alive and stuff you can download these live wallpapers. And like all those things makes this ROM a really great experience overall. So thank you so much for watching this video guys. Give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends if you like this video that the Redmi K20 Pro has a really great Android 10 ROM already. This is Tiro from KDNTech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.